Shut up and sit down. Farmer Bill 2020 essay. Essay on Farmer Bill 2020 for children and students in English. History. The Essential Commodities Act (ECA) has been used by the government to regulate the production, supply, and distribution of a whole host of commodities. It declares essential in order to make them available to consumers at reasonable prices. In the majority of the state, under the APMC Act, farmers are required to sell a number of commodities in a local mandi where intermediaries often manipulate the price. Thus, APMC markets have become monopolistic with high intermediation cost. Due to these factors, the Economic Survey 2020 has recommends repealing this anachronistic act. Introduction. India is a country where more than 70% of the population is engaged in agricultural activities, but it is also a saddening fact that the hand that feeds the nation is entangled in the fetters of starvation. The government with aim of transforming agriculture in the country and raising farmers income has passed three important bills from parliament. These legislations sought to bring much needed reforms in the agricultural marketing system such as removing restrictions of private stock holding of agricultural produce or creating trading areas free of middlemen and taking the marketplace to the farmer the farm bill 2020 is a combination of three agricultural bills passed by parliament in september 2020 these three farmer bills are the farmers produce trade and commerce promotion and facilitation bill 2020 the farmers empowerment and protection agreement of price assurance and farm service bill 2020 the essential commodities amendment bill 2020 union minister of agriculture and farmers welfare rural development and panchayati raj mr navendra singh tomar introduced the first two bills the farmers produce trade and commerce promotion and facilitation bill 2020 and the farmers empowerment and protection agreement of price and assurance and farm service bill 2020 ministry of state for consumer affairs food and public distribution mr rao saheb patil danwe introduced a third bill the essential commodities amendment bill 2020 in the lok sabha The three farmer bills are passed by the Lok Sabha on 17 September 2020 and further by the Rajya Sabha on 28 September 2020. The president finally gave his assent to the farmer bill on 27 September 2020. New farmer bill 2020 will create a system in which the farmers can sell their crops outside the mandis it also encourages intra state trade and reduces the cost of transportation the farmer bill 2020 also called farm bill 2020 predicts a path for farmers as an alternative platform to sell their products in the open market now farmers can sell their products in the open market now farmers can sell their goods openly to anyone and anywhere and they can get a higher price the new farmer bills have faced strong protest from the farmers and opposition parties saying that it will hurt their earnings but the government mentions that they will make it effortless for farmers to sell their products directly to big buyers the government has promised double farmers income by 2020 and the farmer bills will make the farmer 
independent of government controlled markets and fetch them a better price for their produce. Benefits of Farmer Bill 2020 The new Farm Bill 2020 formulates a framework that will create an ecosystem where the farmers will enjoy the freedom of choice of sell and purchase of agricultural produce and promote barrier-free inter- and intrastate trade. There will be no Agricultural Produce Market Committee APMC market fee or cess on transactions in such trade areas. Agricultural Product Market Committees will continue their functioning. APMCs have to complete their alternative platforms and now farmers have a choice for selling their products. This new bill gives powers to farmers to sell their products to the company or exporter buying in bulk from the farm. Pros and Cons the introduction of the new farmer bill is based on the concept of one India, one agricultural market. The new farmer bill aims at opening the gates for farmers to the corporate world to create additional trading opportunities beyond the APMC market yards to help farmers to get remunerative prices due to additional competition. On the other hand, the opposition is of the view that the new Farmer Bills 2020 passed challenges the three pillars of the food security system that is MSP, Public Procurement and Public Distribution System. Conclusion The farmers are the soul of the country and their growth and development is the foremost duty to be taken care of by the government. The passing of the bill is a step in the right direction, providing a bigger platform to the farmers to get the desired price for their agricultural product. The reforms will accelerate agricultural growth through private sector investment in constructing agricultural infrastructure and supply chains for Indian farm produce in national global markets generate employment opportunities and strengthen the economy. Farmers will be freed from the clutches of selling their goods at designated places. The procurement of minimum support price, MSP, will continue and Mondays established under state laws will also continue to operate. It will empower the farmers and foster their growth and development in the country reshaping the Indian economy.